Hey everyone, this is Man in the Black Hat, and we're back for more Let's Play Grandia on Rezowalkers.com. Now, just where did I put it? Hmm, I can't remember. Of course not, I haven't lost it. <laughs> just let me remember, so go look at the Akarian statue or something where I'll look for it. <laughs> Ah, uh, we can't avoid touching the Ikarian statue. Oh well, let's go look at it. And... Up. Legendary Ikarian statue discovered at Dom Ruins. You can picture that. <gasps> of course I know! An adventurer needs to know lots of things. But you know... It's no fun listening to other people's adventuring stories. Elencia is awaiting me with mountains of exciting things. <laughs> Just look. Someday I'll find the Angelos that no one else has been able to discover. Oh, crap. Now, j just calm down. The only thing to do is fix it. Come on, Sue. Help me. I can't do it. You saw how happy the curator looked when he restored this statue. I can't tell him. I remember what it looked like. Maybe, but it's about 70% right, don't you think? On a test, that's a passing grade, right? Okay, now that we've destroyed the Ikarian statue, we can continue on. To the curator's office! Oh, here it is! I was keeping it in my pocket, so I'd always be ready to give it to you and see your smiling face. Mr. Curator, are you getting senile in your old age? <laughs> You're never at a loss for words. Anyways, I just heard a loud crash. Did something happen? Uh, oh. What do we do, Sue? Think we should tell him the truth? Maybe. And yeah, broke the statue. Yeah, <laughs> Justin, you are a joker. If you broke the statue, I just finished repairing. My poor heart couldn't take it. Putting aside the jokes. I have something good for you. Cool. What is it? <laughs> My present to you is this. Letter of introduction acquired. Da 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 da. The Garlisle forces are searching the salt ruins again. I arranged for two people to visit. Wow. Really? Thank you, Mr. Curator. I'm just happy to see your faces. Show this letter of introduction and the army will let you visit. Justin, you go find out for yourself if the spirit stone is real or not. Okay, we have our mission. Let's get the hell out of here. Loading. Whew, we made it. Think we got away clean? Ah! The Akarian statue! I just finished fixing it! Uh-oh. We're in deep stuff now. What'll we do? Think we should go back and apologize straight out? Maybe the curator will forgive... Who was it? Who did this? Now I have to work all day and night to fix it all over again. Nope. No way. If we go back now, he'll take back that letter of introduction for sure. Okay. Now, clicky, clicky, clicky the X button, and there it is. Look, Sue, this is it.
talk to her mother. Ma'am, is this what you're looking for? Is this Mary's pin? So now we go talk to Mary, and that will complete this little side quest. <laughs> it was no problem at all. Okay. Now you can go straight to the salt rooms if you want now, but I feel like having a bit more plot. In we go. Save game. If you're wondering why the sound cut out just now, it's because I was checking something on IRC. Don't worry about it. You don't need to know what I was checking. Uh, just dinner ready. Curator said even he didn't know. But you know what? I'm gonna prove it that this spirit stone is real. You betcha! It's gonna be lots of stuff just waiting to be found. And I'm skipping through the dialogue. Oh well. And she just says the same thing over again. I think this indicates we're done. A lot of these scenes are pretty optional. You can skip over them or see them. Either way. So we're going to go on our very first legit adventure in this game. Yay! We actually get to be out of the town and... You know what? I skipped the dialogue last time. I'm going to do it now. I've been waiting for this! Factory work really wears you out, but Lily's food just makes my day. Yep, Mom's food is really good for you and gives you strength. Sir, you have some really bad B.O. Huh? Think so? Hey, you're right, but you know this is a manly smell. <laughs> Justin, what do you think Miss Lily likes? Can you tell me? Hmm, not really sure. Well, just look over the menu. Mom likes almost everything. Not about food. Oh, forget it. Huh? Not food, then what? What would mom like other than food? Huh? Your face is turning red. Hey, Justin. Could you tell me what today's lunch set is? Today's special is surprise mushroom pasta. I didn't exactly order yet. Ah, it's so good here, so why not? Justin, you get to eat this wonderful food every day. You're a really lucky fellow. Yes, sirree. Mom's food is just the best. What's it made of? Tell the truth is flatfish boiled with pumpkin. Such commonplace ingredients! Now I see why it's so inexpensive, but the flavor is just wonderful! Hey, little Sue, you're looking cute today, too. You're gonna be quite the talk of the town. You're gonna be quite a beauty. Sue, you shouldn't... shouldn't you turn her all red and say no, not at all, or something? And with that, the dialogue's over. Just wanted to show it off. Loading. Okay, there we go. Now, with the gear we've already gotten, we're pretty much outfitted for the Salt Ruins adventure. So, off we go. Really, we're ready to go right now. Marna Road. Now... Most video games you kind of want to avoid combat because it gets long and tedious and boring. And I mean boring. That's a little peek at the weapons that are equipable by each character. Sue can handle sticks or clubs and bows, thrown weapons. Justin can handle swords, clubs, and axes. So, he's actually the more versatile of the two. 
he's also a very good close in fighter. Now, by the current music, we're just in a regular combat situation. Each character has a wait period and, and then a short activation period. As you can see, characters actually have to run across the battlefield and fight, so this makes every fight strategic. Which enemies to attack and when? And we picked up an herb. Herbs are healing items. They heal for a decent amount. And again, you have lots of different things that you can do to. Hmm. Pardon me. What a yawning. Anyways, as I was saying, you got lots of different things you can do in each combat. You have skills, light attack, heavy attack. The heavy attack's a guaranteed critical hit, but it's also slower and can be interrupted. Now that we've been attacked from the rear, we have been ambushed. Giant centipedes start with, a, with an advantage in their wait period. However, Justin and Sue, even at low levels, are really fast. Now... Yeah. And if you hit just as an enemy starts their attack motion, you counter them and you cancel their attack. The reverse is also true. If they hit you when you're doing an attack, they'll cancel your attack and cause you to lose a turn. So really the game is a lot about strategy which makes a lot of these fight scenes really fun. Which is why I'm not skipping them. Your initiative means that we have ambushed the enemy successfully. I want to send Justin after the giant centipedes because he's better at doing uh, damage against the centipedes. As you can see, damage is relatively low. And another thing that I've been neglecting to mention because it goes by so fast, just because I'm trying to get through this area in a relatively short amount of time, you get XP and your weapon skills go up. Anything you use in combat will cause skill in that particular use item to go up. If you use spells, you get better at using that particular class of spells. As you can see, we avoided combat so that we could come in and ambush them. Which I did successfully. So it's all about positioning yourself in battle. Ow. Sue is currently a ranged character. So you want her to be in position before Justin gets there. Because her bow is actually a little slower than his sword. And he one-shots enemies. So if Sue wants to get any sort of combat experience, she needs to go first. Justin can take these out in two hits. Sue can take them out in four or two criticals. And the critical... Uh-oh. You see that flashing? That means it's going to use a special move. You really want to hit these before they use their what special move and either destroy them or cancel their attack. Because otherwise they're going to hit you for harder damage, more damage, and can put in status effects. This music means we have been successfully ambushed by the enemy. They go first, as I said before. If we have your initiative up, we go first. That's them. Okay. Uh oh.
And he's done. Yeah, he was gonna use thorns. What a fish! You can use the look command to see what skills an enemy is going to use before they use them when they get all sparkly. I will get more into the different commands as they come into use during battle. But for the most part, these battles are going to be fairly quick. Okay, Sue's going to attack on the left. Justin is going to attack on the right. That means there's only going to be... Oh, that sucks. But Justin's sword skill just leveled. She's actually pretty good. Sue is going to defend because Justin can take care of both of these. All right, we won. There we go. And Sue leveled. They're both level two now. Okay, when going through this area, you actually do want to hunt down each and every enemy that you possibly can because you want to be pretty well leveled when you get to the bottom of the salt roads. And by pretty well leveled, I mean you want to be at around level 4 or 5, if you can at all help it. What a cinch. I mean, you can get away with just scooting on through, but the fights are going to be tougher. And you're going to be spending more time going back to the nearest save area and basically abusing its ability to recover your hit points and skill points. Yeah, each save area fully recovers you. And there's a save area on every floor of a dungeon. So you can feel free to fully abuse this for level grinding. Now, I think there's one area where save areas are kind of a pain to get to. All right, we won! But... That ain't for a while. If I'm remembering right. The thing about these later PlayStation games is... Yeah, they were kind of on the short side compared to most modern RPGs, but damn if they didn't do well. And I mean it. This game is really well written. Oh, I should also mention that you get different um, voices depending on who finishes the battle, and in what state you finish the battle. If you do a perfect battle, then you get their standard responses you've been hearing, where Sue says, pretty easy, and Justin says, what a cinch. There's also an average, if you get hit during combat, Justin Sue will say something different. And if your characters are near death, or. Yep, more sparklies. String Orb, which will seriously slow your character down. What a fish! Fortunately, Justin's fast. Now, you do, you really do want to level your weapon skills. Because the more you level your weapon skills, the more... Ah, there's that glitch again. I think it's just the disc. Or, well, the ISO that I'm using. Yes, I've owned this game before, so... I'm using an ISO simply because it's really hard to get a hold of this game. That's really it. What a cinch. Yeah, there we go, more what a cinch. And up here, we more bugs to take care of. 
you really do want to try and get in behind the enemies and ambush them because it does give you a great advantage in speed. On slow enemies like the bugs, you can pretty much... Oh crap. String Orb, here we come. As you can see, it stops Sue from expanding her wait time for quite some time. Alright, we won! So, yeah. String Orb is like String Shot from Pokemon. Really, it's exactly like that. The active time battle system in this game is pretty neat. This is where you can have an overview of the area, which can be pretty handy. So yeah, there you go. Various different things that you can do. Battles can be fairly quick, actually. What and for the most part, Marna Road is going to be nothing but fast battles. It's basically here to get Justin to level 3 and Sue to level 2. If you're really lucky, you'll get two levels out of this area, but I wouldn't count on it. Anyways, fully, fully explore this area. Because you really want excuse me you really want to get everything that this area has to offer okay kill that sue you kill that done yeah that's sue's normal response when things have just kind of not gone the party's way completely. So you can kind of tell just how well you did in battle by what the characters say. So there you go. More herbs just lying around. <laughs> Your inventory is actually pretty damn limited. So unless you're going to an area that doesn't really have easily accessible save points, I'd really recommend just easing off on your healing items and storing most of those away in your storage area, which, by the way, is universal. If you put it in one stash area, you can get it from another. So, I recommend putting a good chunk of your low-level healing items into storage when you can. Or any items that, you, that are just taking up space. Sword leveled up, again. Uh-oh. We want to get thorns taken care of. Oh! Countered and cancelled. That's what I was talking about. It happens. Now we've damaged that one. And Sue can take care of it. There we go. Yay! We're not really going to get more characters for a while, by the way. More Marna bugs. Because why not? Okay, right off the bat, he's going to try and use String Orb. So let's kill him. Because it's better to take damage from a, a one point damage from the bug. 
than String Orb, which will do damage and cause the person hit by it to right, slow down. So that's four experience points. And more stuff. The higher you level your weapons, the more stuff you can do. I think I mentioned that earlier. Baton. Don't give this to Justin. It's the same as his sword, so there's no real point in him using it right now. So, we want to take it, then hit the triangle button, and, as I said, plus 7 attack wooden sword, plus 7 attack baton. So, yeah, it's worthless. But for Sue, it gives plus 7, where she had plus 5 before. So it's worth leveling her baton skills. So yeah, first weapon upgrade. And we've been ambushed for the first time in a while. Justin, kill that one. Sue, kill that one. Aww. What a finch. Justin got them both. Yep, no weapon skills for Sue. Oh well. Let's go after this one. Generally, you have to have too many enemies for Justin to handle and two hits for Sue to get anything. There we go. And Justin, you go after the other one. Yep. Sue can now take him down in one what hit because she's got a plus seven weapon. So, yeah, there you go. If she had a better bow, that would be a different story, but she doesn't, and she won't get a better one for quite some time. Now, the first time I ever played Grandia, I was actually surprised that Justin could handle more than one weapons type. Because, realistically, he's starting out as a swordsman. So you would expect him to just use a sword. And you would expect Sue, starting out with a bow, to just use ranged weapons. It took me until disc 2 to figure out that you could actually equip different weapons on people. Damn it! I don't know what causes this. Come on. There we go. Pressing start seems to get rid of it though. So I don't know. Anyway, Sue is way ahead of Justin, so she actually gets a hit in. Yes. Pretty easy, right, Puppy? There you go. Six gold, two XP, ten skill to her baton. It's really important to level all of your good stuff early. In fact, if you just pretty much go through and clear out each area as you get to it, you're gonna have more than enough skills and hit points to get through. Especially against the bosses. These areas are pretty well scaled for each fish. level. You can avoid fights if you want, but you're gonna have to go back eventually and start grinding. Which isn't bad, but since they do make grinding kinda of fun here. But it can be annoying if you aren't expecting it. Like I said, I do applaud this game for actually making grinding fun. Now, up to the Salt Ruins. Once you've been to, through an area, you can revisit it whenever you want, as long as you're in the same area. So we can actually come back to the Salt Ruins at some point if we want. Don't see why you'd want to, but you can. Uh, 
Oh. Those three ladies. We'll see them in a minute. Interesting architecture. Huh. And there's a escape point right near the entrance. You want to use that, just in case. Talk to this guy. Who goes there? This is no place for children. Hang on, look at this. An intro letter from the curator. What's this? It could be the curator thinking getting such a letter to children. Don't worry about that. Just let us in, okay? Oh, well, you can go in. And, whoa, that was quick. Tension! Soldiers fall in! Salute! Listen up! After traveling all the way from the new continent, we won't tolerate failure. Be sharp out there. Meet at the stage on level one. Call roll by regiment as soon as you arrive. And stand by for orders. Tension! Fall in! Right face! March! Double time! Say, Saki. It was your troops who made us late. Aren't you a little lax on discipline? Don't give me that, Nana! The last time they were late, I made them all give me 3,000 squats! Oh, Saki. You're such a muscle freak. I'd make them go without rations for a hundred days. Oh, Mio, you're too kind. If it were me, I'd give him 5,000 lashes. Then I'd pickle him and grind and give him a hundred days in a brick. <laughs> that would kill him. If Herr Mullen were to get wind of that, he'd have your head. No problem. I just swear him to secrecy, and Herr Mullen would never be the wiser. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we need to get going too, or we'll be late for the rendezvous. Right, Mio. If we were to be late, it'd be harder to discipline the truth. Uh, those three sergeants. Say, Justin, how's little gods to him? Be good to him, okay? Sure, Gons. Of course I'm good to him. Right, Sue? Anyways, these three sergeants are very obviously bitches, and I will get into what's just what is wrong with their orders later. Don't really have time for it right now, but I will have plenty of time later to get into the um, problems with their orders. Uh, all of these guys have something interesting to say, so if you feel like going around and talking to them, do it. Say, say, the ruins are underground, right? Can I see them? Take us there. Uh, show them the curator's letter. I'm going to visit the salt rooms. Look, we got a letter of introduction from the curator of the ball museum. See? We're not suspicious at all, so why not take us underground with you? Okay, we get it. They're bad guys. Bye-bye. Now you see why I call them bitches. Really? Really? No way, Sue. The adventure can't back down now. Let's get the hell in there after we save our game and recover.
Don't worry, I'll be talking about this fairly soon. I did, but they're so secretive, there's gotta be something there. You practically told us there are secrets, and adventure can't ignore that. Uh, we're gonna go from one cutscene to another here fairly quickly. So, let's just get to it. Whee! Garlisle Force, Mullen Company, fall in! Face forward! Salt Ruin Special Survey Team, roll call! Squad leaders, front and center! Sergeant Nana, leader of the Bloody Rose Squad reporting. Sergeant Saki, leader of the Lightning Star Squad. All men accounted for. Sergeant Neo, leader of the Desert Moon Squad. All men present. Colonel Mullen will now address the troops before deployment. All soldiers, listen carefully. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. My dear soldiers, our squad will now commence the final excavation of the Salt Ruins. Operation Yudraisal is entering the final stage. Now we only have to find the last remaining piece. I needn't remind you that the depths of these ruins are dangerous. You may even be risking your life. However, this is our time. You, the Honorable Garlisle Forces, will bring a great boon to humanity. Go! You, the elite of Garlisle, will open the door to the wisdom of the ancient Angelo civilization. I am counting on every one of you. Yes, sir! Bloody Rose Squad, you take the east. Lightning Star Squad has the west. Desert Moon Squad, take the south. You have your assignments. We're counting on you. Good luck. Yes, yes Lieutenant. Lieutenant. The time is 15.06 hours. All squads have begun operations. Hmm. Lean. You've also become quite an able aide de camp. Huh? Oh, uh, thank you, Herr Mullen. <laughs> well, let's get to work ourselves. Let's go, Lean. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh oh. Sure, sounds like something's here. Let's go, Sue. Okay. Now we've had a good example of how you're supposed to give orders in the military and how you're not supposed to give orders in the military. The sergeants basically called their troops to attention twice. And let me explain. When you say fall in, that calls the troops to attention. So when you say attention prior to this, there's no need to say fall in afterwards. You're basically giving the same order twice. <laughs> These slimes are a bit more powerful than what we're used to, so... Ooh, counter! What a cinch! Sergeant Mio, Saki, and Nana are basically jerks. They're meant to be low-level flunkies with aspirations well beyond their stations. They are, after all, completely in love with Colonel Mullen, and view their lieutenant and platoon leader as in the way of them getting what they want, which is Herr Mullen. Now, I think it's not very subtle the fact that they use German language for the troops. You know, Herr Mullen for the Garlisle forces. But they also have Operation Yggdrasil, which we won't know what that is for quite some time.
the Garlisle forces are pretty much our primary antagonist for quite some time. Actually, I think they're our antagonist for the entire thing. Darn it. Sue's not strong enough to take it down in two hits yet. And... Kill something. Ooh, countered. So you take that. Justin, you take the other and finish them both off. There we go. Oh, hey, we got an herb out of it. Yep. Herbs. Which, given the fact that we haven't really had to heal that often, or at all yet, we're gonna run into inventory problems fairly quickly. Hello, Bat. Baby Bats. Either character can take these out. Pretty easily. Justin, you take the other one. Sword, level up to level three! What a finch. I think the next I get for sword will be level five. I'm not sure, but you do kind of want to ah stick with it. You can eavesdrop on these guys as much as you want, and it gives you a bit of backstory on the jerks. And we're going to run into the sergeants again fairly soon, which will give us more of an idea of just how shrewish they really are. Oh, speaking of. Mind you, they're talking about their platoon leader right now. And these guys are only squad leaders. They also seem to assume that Colonel Mullen is as shallow as they are. Yeah, no. They have seriously underestimated Colonel Mullen and his dedication to his troops. Then again, they're not dedicated to their troops at all. I find it I find another thing interesting. Their outfits are basically those of the Turkish and Ottoman armies during World War One, yet they're basically using German pronouns for their superior officers. Kinda weird. Just saying. Oh hello. That was odd. Ugh, whatever. Let's go up here. <laughs> Considering these ladies are well known for their back stabbing power hungry ways, I'm not surprised that Colonel Mullen doesn't want to have anything to do with them. Okay. Oh, stairs. I didn't notice that. Oh, hello. Money. Yay, more money. You come out of this well prepared to fully equip yourself. I mean, it's so easy, it's not even funny. Rune Ring! Interesting. I'll find out what that's all about later. Whee! Thunk. 
yes, you can fall off things here. It's not like most other RPGs where it's impossible to fall off of something. Um, where do we? Oh, this way is open now. That's creepy. It's almost like like the ruins are responding to us. Which is really creepy. Okay. Baby Bass, Justin takes one side, Sue takes the other. Ow. Sue gets flattened. And there we go. Alright, we won! Yay, we won. Like I said, if you basically clear out each floor, you're going to be pretty well leveled for each area as you go along. And it's not going to be that terrible a challenge. Just keep your wits about you and heal as necessary and you'll be good. Now you notice that there's different MP levels for different spell levels. That's how many... I think that's how many times you can use a spell of that level. Like, if we had spells for Justin and Sue, they would have 8 level... Oh, hello. Shin Shoes! These are great for Sue. So we'll go straight in and equip. 35 move. Yay. So she has five extra move. And save game. We can recover as well, but I don't want to because I actually do kind of want to use up my healing items. Salt runes. And yes, that other save file. Oh, wait, I did recover. That other save file is my practice file which I'm uh, about two hours ahead in the storyline. Salt Runes, B2. B2 of the Salt Runes is actually pretty good at giving you necessary items. Old Armor. This is a great set of armor for Justin for this area as it gives him plus four defense rather than plus one or two so it doubles his effective defense over there and over to here um ah I if they're not red you basically ambush them Baby bats aren't really a concern. Slimes, however, are. They can hit harder. And they've got more health. So we'll send Sue after the owl baby bats. And Justin after the slimes. And that should do it. I yeah. Fortunately, it didn't completely cancel her attack. And Sue got it. Yay! 6 XP, 6 gold, 2 herbs, and a level. Very nice. So level 3 and 4, we can now complete the Salt Ruins. Oh! Hi. And up there is an axe, which I'm going to be using with Justin because it's better than his wooden sword. The rock axe. Now there will be attacks that you can only use with certain weapons, but that's a lot later in the game. When your characters start getting much more specialized skill trees. For now, though, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Hell, I don't think we even need to worry about it. 
until disc two. If I recall right. Mace, level up. Whee! Screw you. That does happen sometimes. Sometimes you get a nat 20 on your evasion. And if you know what a nat 20 is, you're awesome. Okay, and Justin, it's time for you to shine. And done. Alright, we won! Yay! 8 XP and herbs. 25 and 20. Nice. And we need to use the herbs on Sue because she's low on health anyways and we're out of inventory space. Yeah, that pops up when you're out of inventory space. Oh, hello. And we ambushed them. Nice. Okay, looks like this is going to end in... Three turns, maybe? One. Uh-oh. That slime's gonna use cover-up. Gotta avoid him doing that. It's two turns. Justin can take the hit. And we're getting two more herbs, darn it! I don't need this many. And done. All right, we won. I don't think there's any bonus to using medicinal items in or out of battle, so just use them when they're convenient. Use Urban Justin and discard that one. Yeah, discard the item. Healing items are so plentiful, it's not even worth it. Speaking of... Oh, hello, bats. Come on. These bats should be relatively... Oh, sonar! I don't know what that is, but I'm not going to allow them to use it. Okay, there. Oh, wow! They both took him down in one shot. Yeah, your first priority should always be someone who's sparkling. And if it's a boss that's sparkling, hit them with critical attacks. Oh, hi! Okay, this wall can be gotten through... Can be gotten through ish. Oh, hello. Hit the button. And down we go. This is a Rezu potion. Resurrection potion, and we need that. Revolves one fallen friend. I want to have as many of these as possible, so goodbye, wooden pole. And that should do it. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't stack items, it seems. Yes, I'm ignoring the bats. Why? Because I want to get through this area. I'm done. Hmm, nothing happens. Quite suspicious, though. Very unnatural to be just a statue. I think it's best to report to Herr Mullen. I think you're right. Let's go. Whew. That was close. If we didn't hide, we'd be caught. Save game. We really want to save the game here. And recover. Best to recover before you save your game, just because if you don't, you might forget the next time you turn the game on. Or when you recover from a total party wipe. This must be the statue that those soldiers were talking about. It does look suspicious.
Let's continue on. And right before we hit the cutscene is when I'm going to call an end to this episode. Mostly because we're really close to an hour in and wow. I can't believe how short this episode feels. Despite talking for a full hour. Seriously. I have nothing but praise for this game. Oop, there's a wall there. Okay. Press the button. And... Aha! The wall opens. And press the button. Whee! Where's it gonna end? Not in the direction we want to go. Hit the button again. And then... Okay, now that we're done with the magic rock tumbler. Uh, oh, hello. Neat. Cool, I've never heard of ruins like this. It moves by itself. I'm sure great discoveries of the Angelo civilization lie ahead. Right, Sue? Oh. Anyways, I think that'll call it for this, so with all of that having been said, I am your evil overlord and man in the black hat, and this has been another episode of Grandia on Ah, <sighs> Later.